baby visiting me. I'll definitely ask mommy before I post this. Activity for the day is pajama sewing class. And we've got babies and we've got young mommies sewing and we've got toddlers sleeping and pajamas happening. Everybody's using the vintage machines. We have, that's the 301. Whoops. That's the 306. There's Uncle Troy. These are my colleagues at school. <laughs> and I love them. We're very lucky that we get to work together. There's the 201, making her who knows how many pairs of pajama pants. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is newlywed Jen, and she is making pajama pants for her husband and herself for Christmas. That that you see right there is Mayfield Fabric Durango plaid by Robert Kaufman, and <laughs> it is a thick son of a gun <laughs> to sew with. Just call me Vanna. <laughs> Vanna, and then the sleeping one, and then this is Angie, and she is putting pajama pants on her little darling. And so Christmassy, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Christmas pants. <laughs> and then Abra is hemming baby pants right now. And she's doing a good job. And Uncle Troy's playing with the baby girl. This is Abra's second baby girl. Yeah. So that's what we're doing here, and we are having a good time. Abra is much more relaxed today. Yes. <laughs> baby cuteness. Baby cuteness. <laughs> Come on. Love on, love on Amber like you were. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done, Mom. Ember, isn't she precious? She smells like burning fire. And there's your pacifier. <laughs> Ember helped us sew pajamas today, didn't you, sister? And, and Bela, she helped too. She's fast. <laughs> Hi friends. I'm just ironing up the hem of one of my little mama's pajama pants that she didn't get to today. Um, so today was the second day that we um, got together to make pajama pants. Or was it the third? This was the third time because the first time we got together at the school and everybody cut their pajama pants out. And um, then everybody came over here for about six hours and sewed what they could. And um, this little mama is one of, the, one of our science teachers and she could only stay for a few hours um, because that's all the babysitter could um, watch her kids. So she only got like maybe one pair done the first day that we were here. And um, so today we got both of the girls' pajamas done. And these are Abra's pajamas right now that I'm just ironing up. So I can hem them and then they will be done. We already put the waistband in. 
and I hope you enjoy all of the footage um, of the sweet babies and the mamas and the little newlywed who doesn't have uh, babies yet. And um, I just was thinking, you know, I know that my demographics are my age or even older and our boys aren't married yet. We don't have any, you know, any grandbabies on the horizon that I know of. Um, but just hanging out with them, doing a Christmas thing, they're going to, um, their plan is for all of them to, uh, they're going to take Christmas pictures in their pajamas. And um, I just remember how much fun it was when you have little ones in the house to do Christmas and um, that's what Christmas is for. It's for, it's for the young families and um, the little ones and their bright smiling faces. The two year old that was here today, she loved, Troy put on um, a Pandora Christmas station and she kept running upstairs and you know, oh, that she loves that song and um, just so much fun for the little ones. And last year, Wilson was, our little one, was 14. And we were super lazy. And all we did was put the tree up, wrap one extra set of lights around it, because our Christmas tree is pre-lit. Pre and we put it up in the middle of the living room, not up against the wall or anything, just right out in the middle where our coffee table goes. And we just plugged it in. We didn't put any ornaments up. We didn't get any other Christmas decorations out. And um, this year, Wilson said that he wanted to decorate for Christmas. And so that kind of made me feel bad that we didn't last year because, you know, he's 15 years old this year. He's a year older. And apparently, you know, it was still important to him. So we don't have everything out. There's still lots of decorations. We have dishes and we have dish towels and pot holders. And we didn't get the, every single thing out. But um, we definitely did more this year than we did last year. And so... I'm not going to keep you for very long today. I'm going to let you watch those beautiful young mothers and the beautiful young newlywed. And I hope that you are able to spend Christmas with some young people. Um, if you don't have young people in your life right now, maybe you have the memories of that. Or you can think back to when you were young and how exciting it all was. Anyway, what is today? The 7th or the 6th? The 7th the seventh. So happy Vlogmas day seven. I am going to go, maybe Troy can, we'll, we'll follow the camera over there and you can watch the 201 in action. So I will meet you back over at the 201 and I will hem these pants. Cut. <laughs> okay. So here we are at the 201. I've talked about her before. She was born in 1947 and I'm going to go ahead and hem these, these pants up. Now I know that, um, a lot of people, prefer to hem with from the right side and I totally get that because bobbin stitches are not often um, as beautiful as the um, the top stitches are but on this machine they are this machine is known it's a straight stitcher so she doesn't do zigzagging at all and so her stitch is perfect if you compare the stitch of a straight stitch machine to the stitch of any zigzag machine, any straight stitch machine against any zigzag machine, and probably you're gonna have a much higher quality stitch with a straight stitch machine. So I'm confident that my stitch um, is going to be just as beautiful on the outside as it is on the inside. Let's look and see 
if I was right. So, pretty good stitch both sides. Now these pajama pants, I don't know if you can see this, they're two different fabrics. This is the front, this is the back or vice versa, I don't know. Because um, this little mama did not buy enough fabric. And this little mama bought more fabric than she needed. So on our cutting day, um, what we did is we just made a pair of pajamas and she didn't care, she's flexible. Um, and so it all worked out. So I think that's all I have for you today. Let me show you since we're sitting here. Um, if you don't, the, these are my favorite um, thread nippers and these are uh, gingers or I hear some people say <coughs> ginger. Do you guys know? I mean, I've always said ginger. But I don't speak German, and so maybe it's um, maybe it's ginger. And I just love these. They have the high quality feel of of gingers. Um, I have lots of pairs of gingers. These are my little small gingers, um, and I have the duck bills, and I have a couple of pairs of the eight inch shears, um, and I just love them. Troy and I have decided that every year for Christmas, we're each gonna buy a pair for each other to put in our stocking. And that way, eventually, we'll have a pair of gingers at every single um, sewing machine. And so if you're looking for a stocking stuffer idea, these are not terribly expensive. I think they're 10 or $15. So, you know, it's not like it's a $50 item. It's, and even if it was $20, it's worth it. This is a substantial tool. And so these I bought on Amazon and they are um, to, um, to pull elastic through your casing. And we discovered that if you use one of them, that it will let go at some point. And so I had the idea, um, I told gin well let's stick three of them on that piece of elastic and clamp them all down and drive this whole thing through the casing and that worked and then we bought these cheap little can you give me those plastic ones these are drits and these worked pretty darn well and um i'd like to find i'd like to find out if drits makes a a bigger size. This is half inch elastic. This is, well, I don't know. Quarter inch, half, I don't know. I can't tell. But anyway, these, these are pretty slick. They work really well. And these work if you double or triple them up. And I think I paid $10 for 10 of them. So these, these are super cheap. Um, but anyway, <sighs> I think that's it. I keep my thread tails in a in a jar because we have cats. And this is from Vietnam. Troy brought this back. He visited the factory. Um, this stuff was delicious. It's kind of like um, hey, that hazelnut stuff. Nutella. Nutella. Except for Nutella is disgusting. Well, I hate hazelnuts. And this was awesome. And so that really is all. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.